Hi! So this is my natural everyday makeup look and I'll be talking about a new foundation that I've been trying. So if you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. Okay, so I got a new foundation. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I'm in the color Alabaster, All Blaster, Blaster Phase, anyways, Alabaster. Um, I like the applicator. I find that you can waste a little less foundation because I used to put it on my hand and then put it on my face with the sponge. It does give great coverage. I find that most things get covered in one coat, <laughs> in one layer. Um, and then I just go in and spot conceal wherever I need it. And of course, I always have to do more under my eyes. Um, I like using the sponge because it really helps spread out the product. It is a bit of a fuller coverage so it's a little bit harder to spread it out so the, the sponge, a damp sponge does great and um, as you can see, well and I'm beating up my face, <laughs> but as you can see I'll put another layer for under my eyes or other days I'll just put one light layer and then go in with a lighter concealer if I want to brighten up my face but if you don't have time this really could be all in one. I found it last the better part of the day. It wore off of course on my chin and my nose and you know, I, I, it kind of filled in my pores, but then if the foundation rips off your nose, then I look like I have spots of foundation on my nose. But all in all, it's pretty good, and my makeup lasts better on top of it. It does go on a little bit darker, but once you spread it out and you let it dry, then it dries down to a nice natural finish. As you can see, I've discovered baking. I finally started, I found a technique that works for me and it's one of those steps that takes a little extra time but now I can't go back. I find that my concealer does look smoother, my makeup lasts longer, and then using the sponge makes it look a little bit more natural. And I just let it sit on my face and then I do other stuff that I can before I need to continue on. I'm still using this Urban Decay Potion Primer and I still really really like it. I try to remember to use it every day because it just helps everything set really nice. And I have hooded eyes, If you probably heard this before if you've been watching my channel, but with hooded eyes it really really helps. So just dusting off the powder that I put on and then I'm going to take a nice soft BH Cosmetics brush and just dab some powder wherever else uh, I didn't bake and just kind of spread the love and get everything nice and even. This is not totally new but I'm back to my Too Faced um, bronzer, the Milk Chocolate Soleil and oh my gosh you can see it's been loved. But I like this bronzer because it's matte, it's great for a uh, quick contour, like a light contour and then bronzing and warming up your face. It's my fallback because it's so neutral. And I've done this many times before in my other like quick makeup or everyday makeup. It's a bronzer I always fall back on. And in the summertime I use other kinds of bronzers, but my one of my favorite time-saving techniques is to use a bronzer not only for my face, but also for my eyes as eyeshadow, which you'll see soon. And I do the same with highlight. this blush before it's my fallback it's my Milani romantic rose blush I just love it it's so beautiful it's matte and it goes on really nice and it lasts a good part of the day and I find it just goes great with a lot of different eyeshadow looks and lipsticks and then I've seen a new technique well I don't think it's new but I've seen people start to put their blush as a little bit of eyeshadow and it kind of helps make your whole face more cohesive and it does a nice job of warming up your eye a little bit. So I've been doing that lately and yeah, I really like the effect. It's very pretty. It's subtle, but it's pretty. And fallback number three, my Physician's Formula Translucent Mineral Glow Pearls, blah, blah, blah. It's got like the longest name, um, but I really like it. And 
The Essence one I've been loving is a little bit dark for my skin now that I'm back to Casper paleness for wintertime. So here I am back at this one. It's not the biggest glow, it's a nice subtle glow. So if you're worried about being Princess McSparkles, this is a good one to use and it's drugstore. And of course I'm going to pop it in the corner of my eye and on my brow bone and a little bit, you know, anywhere else that I want. And so between that, the blush and the bronzer, those are like my power trio. The trio I always fall back on because it's just great for your whole face. Okay, I shot my stash and this is by Marsk. It's a mineral eyeshadow in your toast. And I've rediscovered this in my bag and oh my goodness. It's such a beautiful, pretty rose gold, like bronzy color. And I thought if I could layer it up, it would be brighter, but it just because it's a mineral powder, it kind of adds more pigment, so it gets a little darker. But it's so, so pretty. It lasts the better part of the day, and there's not much fallout, but I use my finger. And I tried this Essence Super Fine Liquid Liner. So I find that if I want to wear a more coppery eye, I need to balance it out with a black liner. If not, I just look tired. But if I use a liner, then my eye, the, any green that's in my eyes really comes out. It's really pretty. I'm going to seriously fast forward most of the me lining my eyes because it takes forever. Yeah, I don't breathe when I do it. <laughs> um, I have to say, I'm really impressed with this uh, Essence liner. You know Essence is not a very expensive brand at all in the drugstore. And I have to compare it to the Maybelline, uh, oh my gosh, there's a Maybelline liner. It's the Master Precise. So it lasts pretty much as long as the Master Precise. Now, for me, it wears off a little bit at the ends where my hood droops a bit, but it most of it lasted all day. I really like it, it's good stuff. And here I'm using lots and lots and lots of mascara. <laughs> it's the Benefit Roller Lash and I really love it. And you'll just see me apply mascara, mascara, mascara. <laughs> I'm gonna line my lips. Um, this is the Essence uh, Mauve Lip Liner. And I'm just gonna throw on a NYX Butter lipstick. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, the whole look almost. Uh, but yeah, but mascara, 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 mascara. setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Good stuff. And then I'm going to push up my lashes with my eyelash curler just to give it more curl without damaging my eyelashes. And yeah, that's it. There goes the hair fluffing, get it back into place. And that's the look. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.